Hey everybody, how you doing? So, my name is Pete Yeti, as some of you might know, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently on the channel. We're actually going to walk through how to do um, text emotes on Canva. So this is something that I've started to add into my channel, because I really like text emotes and I don't see a ton of them around Twitch. Um, so originally I actually used this app called Procreate on my iPad, but I wanted to make sure to see if we could use something that more people could access. And so here we are on Canva today, and I'm gonna walk y'all through how to make some of the emotes. So I actually used to use Canva a lot at my last job to create some of our like social media presence uh, postings and that. And so I'm a little bit familiar with it. I have no background at all in graphic design. It's definitely not something that I feel super confident in. So having a product like Canva has been really, really helpful for me. So once you log in and create an account, um, you'll see this as your home page. Um, so you'll have all of your designs. The brand kit is actually part of Canva Pro, which does cost. Today we're going to be focusing on having anything that you can access that's just free through the basic Canva account. So we're going to start and click on this button called create a design. And we actually want to use custom dimensions for this um, to comply with Twitch's standards for um, their emotes. So Twitch has actually done something cool that they have a simple emote uploader now. So you can just input um, the largest copy of the emotes that you have, which is the 112 by 112 pixel setting. So I already have that put in. So you will update these two number fields and make sure that it's set to PX and you'll click create new design. Um, so once you do that, it'll load you into this page. And from here, you can pretty much make it say whatever you'd like. Um, so I'm actually gonna switch over to, to, to a new tab and show you how I have gone through and made some updates to the one that I had originally made on Procreate. So I have a file on Canva that I've called text emotes where I'm actually saving all of my text emotes so that they're all just in one location on Canva and I don't have to constantly mix, mess around to create a new one. So these are a couple of the ones that I have made. You'll notice that they all have backgrounds. So this is because when I was trying to figure out if we could actually use this to create text emotes, I found that you can only download things with a transparent background if you pay for Canva Pro. So that's why all of these emotes do have text backgrounds. But if we cut back over to just this, the page that y'all will see when you create a new, a new design, you'll see that you just start with this blank square where you can kind of do whatever you'd like. So on Canva, you can update, you can upload your own photos and everything if you would like, but you, they also have a lot of free photos and backgrounds that you can use as well. So we're gonna go over to the left-hand side where it says text. And I have found that I really like using this particular font and then making it say, so we'll just, we're gonna copy one of them that I had on the other screen. So if we go, I regret, this decision we will resize it to fix to fit the square that we have um, so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger and then we're gonna center it on the page and then you'll want to um, highlight and copy all of this I find that it doesn't always work super well visibly on twitch to have the letters hollowed out so we'll actually click over to effects and then click none and it'll just change it to a filled in text color that you'll want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and center that on the page. I'm gonna change the color. Let's go with purple for this one. So now we have just text on a plain white background. So to make these emotes, I actually went, I so I uploaded this, this last background. This is actually part of my branding, but for this one, I don't, I think I'm going to go over to the backgrounds folder that Canva has and I'm just going to like peek through to see what they've got. I will remind you that these are fairly small emotes on Twitch and so you'll definitely want to pick like pretty plain backgrounds. So you can even do just like solid colors if you would prefer and that might actually work really well on Twitch because you want to make sure that people can still read the the fonts that you've put and the and the words that you've put on the emote so i actually kind of like the look of this one and so if we go here the text is still kind of small so if you look on this text bar line you can actually see this one will let you change the font size and we're gonna see if you double click on it you can actually change the number on your own so let's see if we can fit it to 22. 
and then to make sure that it's centered you'll just click back on it and wait until the little arrows come up and if you pull it up you can make sure that it's centered on the page and there you go there is our text emote now I'm not actually sure looking at this that I love the background picture that we've chosen so let's scroll through and see if there's any others that we'd be interested in I do kind of like the ombre effect but it doesn't really work with the purple that we have so if we change that over to black I feel like that looks good I do want this to be a little more balanced so let's see if we can do this and then we'll make this we'll, we'll shrink down the text a little bit more to see if we can get regret and this on the same line so let's see if we can do like a 20.5 that actually looks kind of good to me just like that we can extend how far would we have up oh, see that would have to be a little bit too stretched out and so there you go that is the text emote we can see if it would look better bolded I think that that'll be easier to read on the Twitch website because the font is a little bit thicker. I think that that'll be easier for people to read. So once you've kind of put together what you think would look good for your text emote, you'll just come over here to download and you'll just download PNG as suggested. If you are going to use the same strategy as me on this text emotes file, above each of the pages, you, there's, you'll see this little plus sign. It's, it lets you add a new page. You can also just hit this button at the bottom and that way it'll just bring down a new one. So if you have multiple on the same file, if when you go to download, you'll see that it allows you to select pages and you'll just select the emote that you want to download. And then I, I do see you can also name the pages and so that'll make it a little bit easier to identify which emote that you want to download. But yeah, it's pretty simple. It's definitely, if I can figure it out, y'all definitely can. And so this is how I've made the text emotes that I have on Twitch. Thanks for hanging out.